Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming, and welcome back to Fallout Friday and Fallout 4 Rebuild the Colonies. So, last time we started this show, I gave you a little introduction kind of to the setup of everything, but not until the end gave you the actual giveaway of what the series we'd be doing is actually all about so that's how we're going to start this week we're going to talk through a little bit what the rules are of this game what this run is so so what is rebuild the colonies well i mean the name's kind of a little bit in the title it is a rebuilding series but I like the settlement rebuilding system of Fallout 4. I know that it got a little bit of a ham, uh, hammering, you know, it just works and all that. But I, I like it. I think it's a pretty cool, unique feature that, that was built into the game. And I really enjoy aspects of it. But I'm not a very good builder, let's say. And I know that there are... Um, mods out there, uh, Sim Settlements, for instance, which puts the automatic side of rebuilding in there a little bit and kind of makes it a bit more of the actual gameplay. And I also know that the Minutemen playthrough is predominantly around settlement building, but to a certain extent, you can kind of ignore it a little bit. You can kind of just put some sleeping bags down make sure there's a little bit of food and water a little bit of defense and then pff, that's it really you kind of forget about it what i wanted to do with this series is i wanted to actually make it the point of the gameplay that's why i said forget about sean we're not worried about sean we have no idea how long ago he was kidnapped it could be all over by now so let's move on and forget about that and let's rebuild the world the, the world that Britain should have left America with. Not, not, not this horrible, horrible wasteland. But yeah, so I wanted to make it the actual core part of the gameplay. It, it, is, it is the reason for the game, this run through. And there are certain victory conditions that must be met. So let's, let's talk about that a little bit. So the rules for this gameplay are fairly simple. First and foremost, every single settlement has to be established. We have to discover and establish every single settlement in the game and the DLCs. So that is every single settlement that is available to us will be used. Now, the or the Mechanist's Lair and Home Plate uh, Diamond City are a little bit different. So I might establish them and set them up, but obviously you can't really have settlers there, so it's not really a settlement so to speak so i have ideas for the one in diamond city for instance for sure but we'll get to that when we get there uh what are the victory conditions uh so we have to establish all the settlements uh in order to win this game uh all settlements must be full with the maximum amount that i can have now i know there are glitches and cheats and mods and things like that that can boost your charisma but from what i've seen naturally occurring in the game i think you can get about a maximum of 40 settlers per settlement so that's what we're going to be aiming for um as many settlers that we can get in there absolutely full uh, and it has to have, every single settlement has to have a happiness of at least 75. So, they have to be full and they have to have a happiness rating of 75. Um, there are some other little aspects that we're going to get to as the game goes on that I have put in on myself. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end. Uh, something else, so we have to try and get all of the charisma that we can. So, with that being said, I am going to now show you uh, my stats. So, Liz Windsor here, if we look at our uh, special, this is what we have at the moment. Now, these are currently being boosted by uh, gear that I have. So... That is something that we're going to look into to have a charisma boosting gear to take our charisma up. Now, we're also 
I haven't touched the Your Special book yet, but the Your Special, we're going to be boosting Charisma, but there is a special little get around that I want to do before I go and get the Your Special book. Now, there are obviously things that we need to do. These numbers can't stay like this. They do need to change a little bit. But um, yeah, Intelligence 2, Luck of 5. So we're going for Idiot uh, Savant because the, most of my experience is going to come from building in this game so that doesn't give you a lot of xp so we want to try and boost that as much as we can as we're going along uh, and then some of these need to be changed as well so um i think we have the strength at the moment for armorer um but for instance if we have intelligence too at the moment to try and maximize idio savant as much as possible but that will eventually need to go up to eight because there's some science stuff that we need to do um, and strength is another one. Eventually, that does need to be at, at least level six. I think that is actually for armor. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, as I said, there's some other little things that we're going to do as we go along that I have put in place upon myself that I would like to do for my own kind of purpose. Now, like I said, I'm not really a builder. In this game, I'm not like super great at it, but you know, I, I, I want to try and get better at that aspect as well. And I didn't want to use sim settlements because there are levels that I want to attain through settlement numbers. So for instance, Sanctuary at the moment is as big as Sanctuary is, for instance, but what I want to do is while we have the low amount of settlers here, I want to make it a smaller area. Also, we want to make this more civilized. So it's it's not going to be junk based. Uh, we want to make it look kind of nice. We're trying to rebuild the world here. We're not just trying to get by, you know. So and um, for American viewers and American audiences, there will be. Uh, some introductions to some British way of living, some Britishness is, 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 is. because yes, Liz Windsor has decided that we need to go back to the to the good old days of America, back when uh, you know little baby America could look to Big Daddy Britain to to look after it and 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 make it a better world. So so there's going to be some introduction to some British way of life in here as well. Uh, just going to have a lot of American accents, unfortunately. Um, one other thing that I did forget to mention uh, with regards to winning conditions is I need to get every single companion that I can. And I also need to try and get the special recruitable companions that you can just pick up and move to your settlements as well. Uh, Vol Voltec Rep Guy, for instance, is one of them. Not a companion, but you can recruit him to your settlement. Uh, who's the other guy that's in Diamond City that needs a new Coca-Cola? Um, him as well, for instance. So we're going to get all the companions. We're going to try and give them jobs as well but we're going to give them jobs that make sense. Uh, again, all of this will come, become clear a little bit later as we play along. Uh, we are going to have to follow the main story and do some of the quests as we go along because there are things that obviously get unlocked as the quests continue and the main story continues. But again, we're, we're probably only going to be going to a point where we're pretty much accepted by everyone. No one has shunned us. We haven't annoyed anyone and we can stock everything because our world our nice british world is going to be open to everyone everyone ghoul mutant brotherhood and institute and synth alike everyone is going to be welcome in our world uh raiders as well uh more on that obviously when we get to nuka world but yes raiders will also be welcome in our commonwealth but commonwealth oh sorry not commonwealth colony our colony but they will have to live by some certain rules, for instance. But uh, yeah, 
So what we're going to do today is we're going to get started with rebuilding Sanctuary, obviously. Uh, we do need to do some missions for that. What I'm also going to do is I'm probably going to head back to Concord. Because uh, we're basically going to be strip mining every single area that we go to and clear out. Everything that can be picked up will be picked up. Now I'm going to do most of that off screen, obviously, because... Uh, we're not playing on survival because I think quite often I am going to be over encumbered uh, and I don't really want to be taking damage from over encumbrance. But one rule that we do need to put in place is that we will not be using fast travel. So we're, we need to try and get the uh, Institute and the Brotherhood as quickly as possible because we want to try and get some transportation off of those people uh, and also uh, when we get the warning that a settlement is under attack we have to stop what we're doing basically and we need to go back and help defend that settlement so yeah this gameplay like I said is all based around settlements um, but with a slight twist because that is our victory condition also so i hope that this is going to be quite entertaining i hope it's going to be fun for you i certainly hope that it's going to be fun for me and uh hopefully we'll uh we'll get a pretty decent run out of this but yeah let's uh let's go and talk to preston and we will get this run actually started preston my good boy how are you hey good to see you again i was hoping you'd show up I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Absolutely. 100% agree with you. But uh, there are there are going to be some, uh, some changes coming up. But uh, yeah, I completely agree with you. This used to be my home. We're going to help rebuild it. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Yep, you know it. I am very, very old. I lived here over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? No, unfortunately not. But uh, we don't really want to talk about that. Uh, we're not really interested no in going down that route. So... I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in their Miniman out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Okay, so uh, obviously we're not gonna be rebuilding the Minutemen, uh, Preston. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more once we've uh, got everything in place but uh yeah it's 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 not gonna be the minute men it's gonna be uh you know a little bit your your role your role is going to change let's just put it that way um yeah obviously the other thing as well is whenever preston garvey gives us a settlement that we need to go and help that is also something that we have to do so we are pretty much going to be playing this as a minute men run but obviously like i've already explained there's going to be some differences but he just gave us the uh the, the Ten Pines Bluff mission, so we will go and talk to them at some point as well. But we need to go talk to Sturgis, and we are going to start setting up Sanctuary. So what we're going to do is we, we need to build beds and defenses and food and everything like that as well. So we're going to start off with that uh, initially, because this is obviously our only settlement, but things will change a little bit as we go along. Each settlement, for instance, is going to be slightly specialized and tailored to a certain thing. So right now, we only have this one settlement. We could go get the Red Rocket as well. We'll go and do that in a minute. But each settlement is going to have its own little thing right now. And I'm thinking, that obviously, Sanctuary uh, is probably going to be quite a residentially kind of thing. But um, we'll get into that as we go along. Um one other thing if i go into the build menu you will see that i have installed some other mods we have got some mods playing now there will be a full list of all the mods that we have in here but 
a lot of it is for more inducive roleplay for this um, game. So there are some things that allow me to give out other jobs and make it a little bit more inclusive of everyone. Also, yep, I have installed like uh, scrap everything because the, the thing is, is if I can take down this, then, you know, if I can actually actually get rid of a house, then I should be able to clean some leaves up from the side of a road, you know, whereas obviously in the base game, you can't do that. Whereas I think that that doesn't really make a lot of sense, you know, if I can get rid of a car uh no a car you know if i can get rid of a car then i can get rid of little piles of wood makes sense that's pretty clear i think and i think that that's quite a a legit thing obviously the um mechanics of the game when it first came out didn't allow things like that but i think that that makes sense that you know i should be able to clear up a you know pile of leaves if i can tear down a house uh also some other things some other things that i'm allowed to build um for instance the uh the flag over here um is not part of the game but i would like to have a union flag at, at most settlements uh obviously that's not part of the game i would like to in be able to include that so i've installed a mod that allows me to do that some other little things like that uh some other little mods that help me decorate for instance like i said i'm not a great builder so it'll be nice if i could have you know some pre-made decorations that i could put in places that just make it a little bit easier for me and most of the mods to be honest with you are just uh ease of life mods for me more than anything so i know that there are you know there's there's lots of things i can do like uh pillar glitch uh, rug glitch things like that that I can put people in uh, put things in certain places that you wouldn't be able to anywhere but I've installed the mod um, scrap it um, place anywhere just to make it quicker and easier for them for me I could like I said glitch things into place but I you know it would take me freaking ages to do things like that whereas with place anywhere I can just place something where I'm not supposed to be able to but would be able to if I could glitch it if that makes sense so that you can play this way if you want to without mods it's 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 very easily done you can do it there is a there is all the opportunity to play it without mods I've just done it for a little bit of ease of life for me you know because I need to record this edit it get it out every week it's just easier if I can do things a little bit quicker. So that's mainly for that reason. So yeah, as I said, we do have mods, but you can play this without mods if you wanted to as well. So yeah, so we need to get that started. We are going to go around and scrap most of the things that we can scrap. Uh, I'm not gonna do that on screen, obviously. I will do that off screen. But yes, we are basically going to strip mine sanctuary uh, and then I'm going to head back into Concord and strip mine Concord as well. Basically, just grab everything that I can, bring it all back here as junk. So uh, I will see you on the other side of that. Okay, so I have um, cleared out the first little area of sanctuary that I wanted to do. I have made a supply run into Concord to begin with. Uh, we're not quite... What the hell is that? Who's that? A car door? What the hell are you? Oh, you're an engine that's just floating around. Okay, well, good for you. You can stay here. I don't need you to do anything. Uh, yeah, so I've made a supply run. First one into Concord. I uh, haven't even cleaned out half of it yet, so there's still a lot more to do. But we have begun. So what I've done... 
So my rules are, uh, right now, we are under 10 settlers. We are under 10 settlers at this particular settlement. So we only need basic barricades right now. And we have just turned this one building into a bunkhouse. Now, I have tried at the moment to assign Preston to the guard tower, but it doesn't seem to want to let me right now. So... I need to take a look to see whether one of the mods that I've got is conflicting with that, but it's not letting me assign anyone to this right now. So, yeah, a bit annoyed by that. But yeah, so we've just blocked off this one little area right now. Now, they can go where they want, and I have installed a door here, so you can get through to the back of everything right now Preston's gonna go through it so there you go they can use it they can go where they need to go because obviously most of them stay around this house over here but obviously don't want them to do that right now uh, so yeah we've just blocked off this one little area that they can sleep in to say stay safe right now uh, junk walls is good enough as I said they're under 10 right now so I'm not too bothered about it it's just kind of ramshackle right now i like to go with you know because there's not enough people here just installed a couple of bunk beds uh because this is basically just like a bunk house right now that is the extent to what we have got to so far with regards to setting up this little colony so that is where we are at with Sanctuary. I felt like there was something else I wanted to tell you, but it's uh, skipping my mind now. Oh, that was it. With regards to fences. So, I am aware that attacks and raids on your settlements have specific spawn points. And the walls and defenses don't really do anything because they can just spawn inside of them anyway i think sanctuary there's a spawn point here there's a spawn point over the bridge at the back uh on the road down from uh vault 111 uh and there's a spawn point over there behind this house over here uh the one with the uh between the one with the bunker and the house in the far corner if i believe so i think that's all three of them so even if you set up walls around the outside of of the settlement there's going to be a spawn here and there's going to be a spawn over there that could be inside your walls so i know that walls don't do anything with regard to defenses they they are null and void but i'm rping this i'm role playing i i like the idea of having a defensive wall around the settlement uh, especially in an era where the enemies don't really have artillery to bring down walls so walls now make sense but we have i have set up uh the the rules with regards to how walls are so we are rome total warring this basically so settlements grow with the amount of inhabitants within the settlement so i have done this so anything up to 10 basic junk walls i'm happy about and the settlement stays quite small 10 and above so 10 to 19 uh they get better wooden walls so thicker higher wooden walls basically a palisade and they get a little bit more area added to uh, 20 to 29 uh, we consider that a large town so we move that up to either uh, large wooden walls or small stone walls depending on what's available to me at the time if i have the ability to build uh, concrete walls then i will build concrete walls if not then it will be a large wooden palisade and the area gets extended again uh, and then uh, 30 to 39, uh, 30 to 40, basically, um, we do epic stone walls. Uh, and I will show you what those are when we get to them. But yes, that's when they get the big daddy stone walls, impenetrable again. 
for the sake of roleplay impenetrable. I know that enemies can spawn within them, I get that. And they get the full area of the build area. Now, in some places, I might need to come in just a little bit because the build area here, for instance, at Sanctuary, uh, cuts through a house. And a house is not a very defensible position. So that house might have to not exist anymore. And that we build the... So, like, uh, over there, I think there's a... Round the back here somewhere, the, the, the build area cuts into a house and then picks up again outside the house. So what I would do is I would just get rid of the house and bring the stone wall inside the area, build right up to the 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 line and then move on and that house will no longer exist. I can do that because of the mods that I've done. If you're not playing with mods, then obviously you would just ignore the house and build in front of the house and just cut that out. That house will now be behind your settlement. But you also need to take into account elevation. So for instance, if there is something behind the wall that people can climb up on, you need to make those walls higher in that place so that people can't jump over them for RP purposes. That's completely up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You could just play by the rule set. But I figure if I just play by the rule set, this is kind of a little bit of a boring um, series and also I like the idea of trying to better myself at building and making it an element of the gameplay as well um, there are some fantastic builders out there uh, no respawns was one of the people that I used to watch that got me into the YouTube when I, f I was first getting into YouTube um, the school zone is somewhere where I've learned a lot from uh, that that watching that series about what uh, can be done and what can't be done um, and obviously Oxhorn, I'm sure lots of people know about Oxhorn, uh, he's very good at building as well. So there are some really good building channels out there. This isn't going to be one of those, but I do want to incorporate the building into the actual gameplay because I think that that makes the series a little bit more interesting. So those are the rules that we have in place at the moment. Seeing as this settlement is under 9, so under 10, uh, they just get a little junk wall with one area as a bunkhouse. And obviously, as we progress, this area will grow and increase in size. It will get bigger. It will get larger. The walls will get better. Everything gets upgraded as we go on. Uh, and there will be plenty more to add to it as we go on. But we'll cover those bridges when we get to them. So, because we have finished this now, I can't assign someone to the defense. Like I said, I'm not sure what's going on there. But... Because we've done this, we can go and talk to Sturgis, and yeah. it's literally just stopped raining, but yeah, sure, at least it's not raining. Uh, yeah, we're going to go talk to Sturgis. We are going to finish the first um, mission for Sanctuary, and then we should be in a good position to move on from there. Hey, hey you, Sturgis. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I've done that already. Um, I've done the water. Oh, I'm 80% done. I need to. I need to create more. Okay, so I just need to install one more water thing, and then we'll get on to that. Uh, again, because we're not using the whole area at the moment, I don't want to go and build something down in the in the river and get like the purifier and get loads of water that way, because we're not at that stage yet. We haven't. Um, grown big enough to incorporate that within the walls of the city so i've just been putting the small little water pumps um but if i've done that then i need to get a another screw from somewhere so i'm just gonna look around and see if i can find a screw so i can build one more water pump Right, got that other water done. Now, I'm going to finish this, but obviously he's going to ask me to do the security, which I can't do at the moment. Um, but basically, for all intents and purposes, uh, let's just say that's complete. I'm going to find out what's going on with that, and I'm going to fix that off of screen. But yeah, so for all intents and purposes, let's just say that's complete. So we'll talk to him now, and we'll hand in the water. Sturgis, I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. Um, I'm pretty sure there was already 
Right, okay, so I need to do the crops as well. <laughs> okay, let me do that. Right, so the food's done. Obviously, uh, around the back of the house here, there's uh, two melon plants and a gourd plant. Um, I planted them back over there. If you harvest the melons and the gourds, you can then plant four melons and two gourds basically which is enough food to get started here so that's all done i also had a tato plant that i did now eventually uh there might be some like little garden plots and stuff like that i'm guessing in 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 here but eventually i don't really want food just growing randomly in every settlement i want to have specific food settlements so there will be like settlements that are specifically designed for farms and things like that because like i said i want each um settlement to have its own kind of theme and suit its own requirements and things so i don't want crops you know of corn and everything like that growing you know i don't want plantations in every single settlement basically so that eventually we will move away from but for the time being until we get more established that has to make sense and like i said maybe i'll have some like garden plots and stuff like that here anyway but um we'll have to wait and see about that uh right sturgis we are done with the food uh again you're gonna ask me about security but we can't do that anyway so I don't want to plant whatever you've got. Yeah, I, I want to tell you that I've done. I just want to trade a few things. I don't want to trade with him. I to take care of the crops. They need looking after if we're going to harvest anything. Let's trade some things. No, it's not letting me talk to him. Right, I think my mods might be um messing some stuff up at the moment because I don't seem to be able to. I just need to trade gear with you. Yeah. So I can't assign anyone to anything, and it's not letting me talk to him now. I'm guessing it's because I need to assign people to it first anyway. But, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it already said that they were assigned, so let's take a look. Right, uh, let's get rid of the brambles, because they're in the way. And can I get rid of that? That is not what I wanted to do. Bulbs. Now you can see the downfall sometimes with scrap everything. That is not, I did not want to remove the wolves. Uh, I'm going to reload a save. Hang on. Right, all done again. Uh, yeah, had to reload a save. Uh, the, unfortunately, the one I, the last one I had was uh, hadn't built the water or moved the food yet. So, but we're we're all back on on level ground again. I need to find Sturgis now. Um. Where are you? Where'd you go? He's got to be around here somewhere. He's always around here somewhere, right? No. Okay, right. I'm going to go try and find Sturgis. I will be back in a moment. Right, I found Sturgis. He seems to keep wanting to take a wander out here. I'm not sure why. Um, there are doors and things like that for people to go through so I don't know where he's going but uh, we'll have a conversation here and I've actually managed to assign for the security as well so we should be all good yeah you, hello I like it having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits what we need now is a reliable source of clean water Right, so we've we've done the water, hopefully. Yep. Uh, so, so I need to accept it. Great. It's a bit annoying that I can't tell him already that I've done it. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable. So I've done the water, I've done the food, and I've done the security. So we should be able to complete this quest completely now. If we're gonna settle here. We'll need to get some crops established. Right, we've done that. Um, no, I haven't done that. Okay, so I need to plant some more stuff. See, now it's annoying because if you go into the settlement thing, it says that I'm good on everything, which is a little bit frustrating. But yeah, so if we go into the settlement menu... Everything is green. 
it says I'm good on everything. So I'm a little bit frustrated about that, but hopefully well. this should be more than enough if I just replant all of this quickly. So let's just get on with that uh, and get those replanted and hopefully we should be all done there after that. So that's one more gourd. Uh, should be two more melons, right? Two more melons and I should have one more potato plant. There we go. Right, everything should be good. We should be fine on everything now. I've got more than enough. What do you mean only 80? Wow, this, this mission's been proving a lot more harder to complete than I thought. Ah, oh, this is annoying me. Right, I will be back once I've sorted this out. Right, we're done. So what was more than enough in the last save wasn't anywhere near. So not only did I have to plant five melon things, three tatoes, two gourds, it... So last time, all I had to do was just harvest the melons and the gourds, replant those, and I was fine. And the tato plant was just to, you know, the extra little Brucey bonus. But this time, I had to basically double everything. Why? But apparently we're there now. Apparently we're fine. We're, we're, we're on board with it. Apparently it was more than enough in the last save, but once I buggered up this bloody wall and had to reload, everything screwed up again and, and we were all messed up. But apparently we're fine. So let's talk to you now. We should all be good, hopefully. Hurry up and get on your feet, please, damn you. Um, okay, I just want to talk. This place is starting to feel there we like go. It. Thank you. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm all good on that as well. I've 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 done the defenses. Yes, see, I'm I'm all good on the defenses. I've finished that as well. Feel more secure here. So, we should be good to just complete that one as well straight away. I'll sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Right, there we go. We're all done now then. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Right. Sanctuary is completed. There we go. I was hoping for Edio Savant to trigger there, but it didn't. But yes, there you go. That is our, our first steps on the road. That took uh, a very long time to do. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker than that, but it wasn't. So, there you are. There is a, the, the beginnings of our rebuilding the Commonwealth run. So... Next time, what we're going to do is we're going to head over, uh, claim the Red Rocket, uh, head over to Ten Pines Bluff, sort them out as well, start working on them as well, explain what I want the Red Rocket to be and Ten Pines Bluff. Uh, Ten Pines Bluff is probably going to be um, a farming settlement, I imagine, but we will have to wait and see about that. Um, until next time, I also need to finish strip mining Concord. I need to go back to Vault 111, sorry, not 101, 111, and strip mine that as well. Uh, so yeah, plenty to be getting on with, but I hope that you've enjoyed this little introduction to this series. Uh, like I said, I hope that you find it as interesting as I do, and uh, a new way to play the game, maybe this is something you've never thought of before and i've uh, inspired you to start and try to find a new way maybe not who knows but uh i certainly hope that you do enjoy it and i certainly hope that you do join me next time but until then i want to bid you all adieu a good day and a massive gg to you all thank you everybody for watching like and subscribe for more content like this then check out the video suggested for you or watch this playlist to discover more from the channel. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production.